Okay, this is Stand By Me. Um, I'll give you a basic strumming pattern, just very simple, and then we'll give it a little bit of colour. So, here we go. Just a straight down strum to kick it off. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only that you see So you can do that, you can just play a very simple strum or what I do is this um, I'll show you and then I'll colour it a little bit more Now don't forget you can slow this down I will slow it down myself and you can slow it down on YouTube you can just go to the gear icon and you can cut this in half, slow it in half. Is that how you say it? Slow it in half? Slow it by half. What I'm doing there is stopping the sound, okay? I'm using my left hand, my fingers on my left hand. Just lay them across the strings like that. You can also use your heel of your right hand, like that. I tend to use both. Sometimes and sometimes I don't. Whatever you feel like, you can do either or both. And the strum is this. What I'm doing there is that down strum and killing the sound, I'm using my fingers here, my finger nails, I'm doing that. So watch. And then stop in. dark and the moon Chords are J bum, bum. Bum, bum. E minor bum, 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 bum. to C da -da -da. You can leave that just hang in there, okay? To darling, darling, stand by me. And then what we can do is tend to do a nice strum. So I'll do that again. When the night has come. The land is dark and the moon is the only light you see. Then we repeat. Well, I won't be afraid. Same again. Bow, bow, bow. No, I will not be afraid. Just as long. As you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me.
that back pick here. Practice doing this, you use this a lot, this back pick here and strumming these, these strings, maybe top two, top three. Try doing this, just putting your pick there and bouncing, getting a bit of tension and then bouncing. And what that does is that alleviates this sound. Sometimes you want that sound, on this song we don't, so you want that. And what that does is it gets the sound almost instantly. You're plucking all of those strings instantly because you're using this to bounce off. Take a little bit of practice, just, just sit there and do it. Just keep doing it. And when you're doing it, endeavor to hit the top two strings, or one string, and then aim for two. And then aim for three. And then aim for four. And just keep practicing that. Just do it over and over. You can do this. What this does is just getting your accuracy with the pick. If you're wondering, the pick I'm using is a one mil pick. I like it because it lets you get a good sound, plus it teaches you to be really delicate. This is a one mil um, Jim Dunlop, and it's got nylon, it's a nylon pick. It tends not to give you that scratchy sound. I love these. The only problem is when you drop it on a dark, um, floor, which is where I tend to play a bit, um, can't find it. But that's okay, they're only 50 cents. Okay, if you enjoyed that, um, why not subscribe and I will put out a new tutorial usually twice a week. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you've got any questions, please ask. Okay, cheers.